All right, we are live on the Facebook Live TV show. I am so happy you decided to join us, uh, whoever you are. And uh, there's going to be people logging on very shortly. But what we're going to be talking about uh, on this particular broadcast is uh, we're going to talk about the San Diego Social Media Conference. It was fantastic. I was there yesterday. I want to talk about some of the highlights, a little bit of a wrap up. Uh, and uh, you, just by watching this broadcast, will have advantage of some of the things that I talked about and I'm going to give away. And so I'll tell you about that in just a second. The link, just a hint, is up on top. You're going to want to click on that um, whenever you feel like it. You can do it after the show probably, but uh, make sure and do not forget to click on that link. Then I'll tell you why. Uh, and then I want to go into a little bit more about blue jeans. And some of you may see every time I come on these last couple of times, all you're talking about is blue jeans. Why? Because it's important and it's fantastic. And if you are going to run your own TV show right now, it's the platform that you're going to want to use. I believe, uh, including um, something else like Nemo Live or OBS or Manicam or, um, oh, what's the other one? I, I'm drawing a blank, but there's others. But you're going to want to use one of those uh, to be able to put in your lower thirds and your picture in picture, running videos. And uh, although in uh, Blue Jeans, you can share your screen. Anyway, we're going to talk a little bit more about Blue Jeans and why it's important for you to know about that. Uh, I also want your feedback. I want you to tell me what it is that you want to learn about in regard to putting uh, together your own Facebook Live TV show. What is it that you need to know? Um, and what is it that you um, like or don't like about what it is that I'm doing? And that way I can get feedback too. It's really important. Uh, just a few minutes ago, I got feedback from my daughter, who happens to be off to my left over here, about my logo and my banner on my Facebook page for the Facebook Live TV show. And she despises it. <laughs> <laughs> and so you can even give me your comments about that. She didn't like the microphone. She didn't like the or the placement of the microphone or size of the whatever it is. Too much blue. There's too much blue. I like blue. It's blue. Basic. Blue is my favorite. I'm going to talk about that too, about what it is that I like and why it's important about what my daughter told me. And I'm going to talk about that too. So stay tuned for that. I'll talk about that at the end. That may be the most important thing that I'm going to have to talk about. You're going to want to stick around for just that one topic. I'm telling you, it's going to be important. It's something that I learned that changed the way that I do all kinds of stuff. But I often forget. And you, you will often forget. All right. So stay tuned for that. So don't let me forget to to talk about that, Courtney, because it's not on my my show flow here, yeah. um, because I just I just thought of it and it is extremely important. What she just taught me again, what my daughter taught me at 22 years of age, wow. <laughs> uh, is is just so perfect about what I'm going to talk about. So stay tuned for that. Very very important. All right. Um, and uh, what else was there? Oh gosh, there was something else I was going to talk about, but that's that's not important. Because uh, if it's uh, not on the top of my head, then it can't be very, very urgent for me to tell you right at this moment. So, yes, so you may see that banner change based on what my daughter told me. All right. Let's talk about San Diego and the social media conference. Oh, my gosh. Uh, the, the, some of the greatest people uh, that put that thing together just so quickly. I connected with them. I, I connected them, with them uh, before I was even there through uh, Facebook. Of course, it's a social medium, right? It's where you uh, connect with people on a social um a place or whatever you want to call that. Um, and, and and I should have known they were going to be fantastic, right, when I when I got there. And they were it, just fabulous. Um, Ava, Lisa, um, Crystal, they're running around doing all kinds of stuff. I grab Ava just and, and she's like trying to get things started. I grab her and go live on Facebook, right, and interview her about what's happening. She stopped. She did the thing. She acted like she she was ready for it, for any question that I had. Um, and then walked around and contacted some other people. So Ava uh, just was fantastic and kept the thing running. Now, the music. Okay, so this is one thing. Uh, this is part of the wrap-up of on it that I'm going to talk about. I talked about it at the gym today with some of the people. I said, listen, you know, we have all this social correctness and that kind of stuff, but please don't take this wrong. Social correctness uh, of what we can say, not say, things we can show. I think that at some university, somebody was wearing a uh, Make America Great Again hat or something like that, whatever Donald's um, – slogan is and then some little girl comes over that's offensive and you need to take it off and you can't wear that it really hurts my feelings that you're wearing that hat and this is like really it's at a university right uh but people can wear uh you know zigzag uh you know emblems on their shirt with marijuana or other things and that's not offensive or other words and things that are on there but you know get it was just so so uh, so here i am at the mother's uh, helping mothers, right? Or the or the organization. And the first song that comes out, Ava, you know what I'm talking about, was Beyonce. 
uh, shaking her body. And man, the women were standing up and dancing. And it was the greatest thing. I felt so comfortable right away. And so I would not have personally put that song up there, but they did. And it was fantastic. It worked for them. And I, I knew I was in the right place when they put Beyonce up there. <laughs> And then the next one was some other song that just the, the words were fantastic. So that was, I knew, I knew that I was in the right place. So everybody was so comfortable and just uh, sharing and dancing and the energy that was in that room was fantastic. So that was great. Um, the speakers that were there talked about everything, social media, uh, Snap um, and um, LinkedIn, of course, Facebook, uh, Periscope. Um, he had some of the, uh, the vendor uh, speakers that came up that talked about how they use social media in their marketing, that kind of stuff. That information was fantastic. I really liked what they did. This is only their second conference, and you wouldn't have known it. You would have thought that this is their 10th their tenth conference because it was so organized. They had the music playing. They had great speakers um, after the first guy. Whoever that first guy was uh, was not that great, but everybody else was fantastic. Um, and I felt so comfortable getting up on stage and being there and, and talking to the group. And their, their timing of everything just went well. It ended, as far as I could tell, on time, even though I went 10 minutes long. Um, and um, the co-hosts were, were great. I, I really love um, uh, the um, – shoot um, – Ryan was his name. Uh, he came on and talked about Periscope and how he's using it and how you need to be different, right? You need to catch people's attention and sometimes being different. He did a, the one of the he did the first Periscope as far as uh, what I learned from him uh, underwater, and so did the first live Periscope underwater. And again, and just it's it's just that kind of thinking, that type of. Uh, imagination, which is going to carry any of you that are going to be using social media, whether you're a coach in social media or uh, own a restaurant or a, a brewery that in your, 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 your Facebook live is going to be you show, sharing how you make your formulations, that kind of stuff, whatever that is, you just need to somehow be a little bit different um, and not like horribly different, but I think just different enough where it catches people's attention as they're scrolling. Because remember what you're doing on Facebook is you're trying to grab the eyes of somebody who's looking at stuff and just scrolling up really fast and then stopping because it's something that catches their attention. So you want to make sure that you have that thing, whatever it is, right, that, that stops them from scrolling and makes them not only look at it because, you know, the video will play before they click on it, right? They'll look at it and go, that doesn't look very interesting. You want then them, you want them then to click on that video and start playing that video yes oh, clickbait. clickbait oh click thanks my gosh you need to have clickbait uh and uh, and it stops people in their tracks and wants them to watch and so ryan did a great job of explaining how he uses things what mark Wellsenberg says don't believe her oh mark thank you mark thank you yeah i love the blues and she an she doesn't like my picture an she doesn't like the logo no He's about the same age as me. <laughs> like okay. All right. So Ryan was great. Um, let's see. Let me look at my list of other speakers that are on there because I don't want. I'm going to end up missing somebody. So I apologize for those of you that I that I miss uh, in in talking uh, t about this stuff. Um, the snap. What was the girl who did the snap? Oh my gosh. See, I'm even calling it Snap now. It's not Snapchat anymore. It's called Snap. And so, oh gosh. Hold on. Sorry. I know this is so professional what I'm doing here after I got through talking to people about being professional on their snap. All right. Or on their on Facebook. Let's see. Who else do we have on there that was just fantastic? Please help me. Courtney, are you paying attention to the chat there? Yes. What? Jen. Did we have Jen? Let's see if Jen's picture. I think Jen. Yes, Jen Amos. Um, the, she uh, talked about snap and the things that she talked about doing with the with the snap. What? Why do you just keep laughing over there? Mark said I'm probably older. So oh, I'm probably older? No, no. Uh, but she had a lot to say about Snap. She's a great speaker. She, Oh, how to gain 7,500 people. She gave the steps on how to gain 7,500 plus uh, people using um, Instagram. Instagram um, was her thing. All right. And so I got to make sure I get the right ones correct. Um, and so that was really, really good information. If you can connect with uh, Jen Amos, um, that would be a good thing to do. Let me go ahead and share my screen here so you can see what her uh, profile, oops, oops, open the wrong one. Looks like we're gonna transfer over. Da, 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 da. Wow, I got way too many windows open. Here we go, we're gonna switch over here. A lot of clicking, you hear all that clicking going on? All right, right over here. There we go. All right, so we had Jen Amos, 
And so uh, 7,500 plus followers on Instagram, how to do that, her step-by-step -step, uh, instruction on that was fantastic. If you need a speaker to talk about um, Instagram, that's where you're gonna want to go. And let's see, Crystal. Had, oh, Derek had a great, he was a vendor speaker that came up um, and he uh, talked about how to, how important it is to have a link of that, what is this thing called? I brought it up here. I know. I talked about having a show flow and so that you know what you're going to be talking about and where you're going to be going. And uh, I'm just now off the rails with talking about uh, what is important for him to have or you to have here. Oh, man, I'm really ruining this one. Where is it? Let's see. Uh, Rebrandly. So you want to go to Rebrandly. Um, and here it is here. Rebrandly, and it's going to help you with your URL shortener. And so you want it not to be a series of just random numbers and letters and characters that it should be like your name. Uh, and you want it to be something that's specific that people can remember as opposed to uh, A3942 uh, Z, whatever. You want it to be, so mine would, would be something like the shortened uh, version of a uh, URL would be Andy Falco um, at TV uh, or something like dot TV, right? So you want something that they give it to them and they'll remember it. And I was looking for an example that they might have on here. Um, so rebrand is, um, uh, I think one that he has there. Blog rebrandly.com. Rebrandly is really hard for me to say apparently. So shortener. So go to Rebrandly. He'll uh, you have he has a way of uh, of getting you the URL that will be one that you're going to want to use as opposed to all those random numbers. And I thought that was a really really cool idea and it makes it easier for people to find you. And uh, uh, let's see who else. I'm going to go through this list here. There's Lisa, Jen, Ava, Crystal. All those are all the um, the the people that put it all together. Just really cool. Will Irish talked about Facebook ads amazing information. He just is a, a fantastic speaker. I'm hoping to have him on an interview. He agreed um, since he used my computer for his presentation. Now he owes me. And so I'm going to bring him on an interview to talk about uh, Facebook ads. He did a fantastic job. He had really the steps that were important to understand as far as how to put the, an ad together, what it is that you need to know about doing that. And, and simple. I've heard people talk about Facebook ads before, and it was uh, slightly complicated and not something that just really connected with me. But the way that Will explains things and how he put it was just so much better. Um, and again, Ryan talked about um, uh, Periscope. We had Jason, uh, Teresa, Lisa, two more. Who else is on here? We had two more. Oop, and what's not going to let me click on all the all the names that are there. Oh, darn. There's 13 people on there. Who else is on there? And Joe Sanchez, he uh, has the uh, the room that you need to escape out of. An escape room uh, there in San Diego. It was like number five uh, on the USA Today. Let's uh, network USA. Chula Vista rocks. Let's see. I want to say it was US Today. USA Today um, did an article uh, about the f uh, the most popular or the best uh, escape rooms, and his escape room there in San Diego was uh, number five. So that's a, a great. I, I, I'm interested in doing that escape room. You want to do escape room, Courtney? Me and my friends keep talking about. Yeah, maybe we got to do that. We're gonna go to Anjo. It's like banjo, but without the B. I learned that from Lisa. She said that uh, yesterday, and it made me remember his name and how to pronounce it. All right. So uh, the speakers are fantastic. I'll, I'll get a list. I'll get some more stuff together. Many of the people that are were speaking, um, I've got them to uh, somewhat commit to uh, being on my show here, the Facebook Live TV show. So um, we're gonna make sure and make that happen, especially um, uh, those that pertain to uh, Facebook Live, because obviously that's really important. I also talked to a vendor who does uh, book editing. Again, it is uh, in relation to Facebook Live because many people who are authors and want to get the, their story out should be doing Facebook Live. And if you're doing Facebook Live and you have a show, if you want to bring people to your Facebook live TV show, you should have a book and saying that you're number one best-selling author. Those two things, I think, go hand in hand. All right. So now let's um, talk about Blue Jeans just a little bit. I met with uh, one of their main folks the other day, and uh, the, one of the updates I want to give you about um, 
uh, about the application is that they are looking for the integration to do use with YouTube Live, which is going to be coming out very soon. And so they're already working on an integrate integration and integrate. Oh my gosh, integration. The, the integration that will work with. <laughs> with YouTube. And so that'll give that ability for those of you that prefer to have a channel on YouTube, uh, that it will be able to do that. Now, I don't know um, if yet you can do, or gonna be able to do both a Facebook Live and YouTube Live at the same time. If that is the, the what they're gonna be able to accomplish, that's gonna be fantastic, right? Because now what I do is I save the recording of uh, my Facebook Live, and then I upload it to YouTube and now have the re-recording. But if we can do the YouTube Live and the Facebook Live at the same time, how fantastic is that, right? That's gonna be really, really good stuff. Um, they are working on the integrate integration <laughs> of having the chat that's going on on your Facebook page, the comments that are coming across on your Facebook page, so that it's on the dashboard on Blue Jeans. Oh, that would be fantastic if they do that because it's so hard. I wouldn't have to have my daughter over here shaking her head at me every time I say something stupid. Uh, but but, uh, but instead of having her monitoring the, the comment section and letting me know when people are commenting, like, Mark, thank you so much, Mark, for your support. I really appreciate it. Um, what's that? Okay, what are our comments now? Lisa says, Jen is amazing. Lisa says, yes. rebrand me. Lisa says, thank you for rebranding. Editing worm. Editing worm. Oh, editing worm. Thank you so much. I should, again, I, I went off on a tangent. Remember yesterday, those of you that are watching this were at the uh, at the lecture yesterday. I talked about having a show flow. Now you know why it's important to have a show flow. Uh, I came in uh, and, and and wanted to get on here because I was so excited about the uh, the conference and just wanted to talk and kind of just do this kind of uh, by the seat of my pants. And this is why you don't do that. So now you have an example that you can watch and you can share with your friends of why. You don't want to fly by the seat of your pants on a Facebook Live because this happens. You forget the people's names. <laughs> you forget what it is they talked about, their company names. You'd say that somebody was working on Snapchat when they're actually talking about Instagram. And so that's why you need to have a show flow. So, so important. I have it in my lecture. I have it in my program that I teach people about how to do Facebook Live. But did I put it in action here? No, because I wanted to show you what it's like when you don't do that. And that's the power of that. Uh, and Jen does rock. Everybody you know that was associated with the uh, event yesterday was fantastic. All right, so back to Blue Jeans. Um, Blue Jeans, um, uh, Facebook Live, the chat. Um, they still don't have pricing yet uh, for those of you that want to get it. They're working on it. Uh, I'm, I'm really trying to get them to be uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of about $9 a month. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to do that. That's just my suggestion to them, somewhere around that area. Um, they um, said that when they launched Blue Jeans to come out in for some people like myself and uh, Ryan, and if you notice, I'm not trying to tackle Ryan's left, last name because I, I simply won't be able to say it. Um, maybe I should spell it later before I get off. That way I can at least let people know who Ryan is. But he's a, he's uh, one of the biggest influencers on uh, live uh, media right now on the Internet and particularly um, – uh, Periscope, uh, but he's got a difficult last name. So, um, uh, but people like him being able to use Blue Jeans and they wanted to launch it out there is that they what they weren't ready for is the amount of small entrepreneurs or business owners that were just getting started, how much they would be interested in it, right? So they're big customers uh, on Blue Blue Jeans has been around for a while. So Blue Jeans is like a Zoom. Um, uh, or a go-to-meeting type platform that large companies use. Their biggest customer is Facebook. Facebook uses BlueJeans uh, to do their uh, conferencing between other people within the organization, that kind of thing. They set up meetings, conference calls, all that kind of stuff using BlueJeans. So that's been their customer since I think uh, uh, Facebook started. Uh, and so that's a good thing for us that use BlueJeans, especially Facebook Live, because you know they're connected, right? And they're always going to get the, the first bit of information that makes BlueJeans and Facebook work together. And that's why I really like that relationship. Um, but when you're working with Facebook and the budget that Facebook has, that's one thing, right? But when you're working with somebody who's just getting started in the business and people are uh, spending money on accounting and attorneys and, um, you know, all the other bells and whistles that they need to run their business, whatever that is, the microphones, the cameras, uh, the computers, all that kind of stuff, having to spend a monthly or an annual on something else, just like, oh, gosh, am I really going to need this? And you just don't want it to be uh, so priced so heavily that you just can't afford it, right? So really, really important, I think, that they understand that uh, there are going to be a lot of, of small 
uh, business owners and entrepreneurs are going to be using this platform and love it. I, I think it's fantastic. It works fantastic. As I'm hoping, as you can see by this broadcast. Yes, Gordon. Yes, give me another comment. Um, oh gosh, I don't know his name. Charmaine. 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 I yes. got that right. <laughs> <laughs> integration of chat would be fantastic. Yes, that would. Uh, the integration, integration. <laughs> what is it? I've said I said integration for for integration for for days. I don't know why suddenly today I cannot say that. This is again, this is gonna be my my example to everybody how not to run a Facebook live TV <laughs> show. Um, Charmaine, yeah, uh, using the, the chat uh, in, in the application uh, is uh, really hitting them heavy. It was actually probably one of the first things I told them uh, when I had the opportunity to talk to Aaron, who is the uh, lead marketing agent for Blue Jeans, uh, and told her, we got to see the chat. It's uh, There's too many other things that we're doing to try to now obviously go to our Facebook page and watch that. Yes. Lisa says you rocked it yesterday. Thanks oh, for being thank our you, amazing Lisa. first speaker. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate that comment. I was I was a little bit nervous being first because sometimes I think that uh, the first speaker can uh, start your um, uh, your conference or your event or your meeting either on the right foot or the wrong foot because I've been to uh, meetings and conferences where the first speaker comes out and you're going oh really <laughs> and you're going oh now how many more speakers are we going to have like that and I didn't want to be that guy and so I think it helped uh, being only the second time I've ever stood on stage and talked about something other than dogs. Um, you notice how I put dogs in there a lot, though. It just made me feel comfortable to talk about dogs. Uh, but, I mean, the focus being on something else, it's, uh, being the second time, I was a little bit um, un uneasy with that position. But I was glad to be there. I was glad to be in that position because I love the um, uh, the challenge of being put in that position that I have to kind of step up and, and hopefully uh, come through. And, uh, and make sure. So thank you. I really appreciate that that comment. And it was so kind for you of uh, you guys to take a chance, uh, not knowing knowing me from Adam and uh, and and just let me be the first. So I really do appreciate that. Is there another one? Yes. Yes. Charmaine. Charmaine. Still waiting to get access to Blue Jeans. Oh I yeah. Did the training. I was told it may be two weeks to get access. So Charmaine's still waiting for access to uh, Blue Jeans, and they are trying. I promise you, they're not ignoring anybody. It's they were overwhelmed. Uh, like I said before, they told me that uh, they um, weren't prepared. <laughs> they knew they're going to have interest, but they go. It was just incredible. They said of the amount of people that came in, and they're trying to get through it. I think they only had one person on it. And kind of looking through, oh, we're going to get a couple here. And they, they just got bombarded uh, by this stuff. Plus, I've been out speaking about it. Um, the the thing that I spoke about at the conference yesterday is the power of accepting um, yourself as an expert and feeling comfortable in saying it so that when you say it, people believe it. Um, and like I was trying to tell the audience there yesterday, when you uh, go to a conference like the social media conference and you listen to speakers that talk about these tools and how they work and how you should use them, at that moment that you get that information, you know more than somebody else. And so just that aspect alone, if you just get comfortable with that and then tell yourself, you know, from this, I'm an expert uh, over somebody that did not attend this conference. And, and then feeling, come, you know, I just got this training, um, you know, I, I, if you just get certified in something and then that comfort level in saying that you're an expert is, is not easy. But once you start doing it, but you have to back it up too, right? It, you can't say something and then they ask you the very first question. Uh, I had a, a person that I was in a relationship with that said that they were masters in math. Right. I'm a master in math. Right. And so then the first thing you say, well, what's two plus two? And they go uh, five. And you go, OK, I thought you were a master in math. Right. You can't that can't happen. Right. You have to <laughs> you have to back up what you say. So you need to learn it and actually know right to a certain level. Right. If you say you're a an expert in uh, snap and now you're trying to go to the snap conference and now talk to a bunch of snap experts about how you're an expert, maybe that's not the place to start. But if you're going to the chamber of commerce with a bunch of folks, at least my history going to chamber of commerce is people in their, uh, maybe in their twenties, but usually in their thirties, forties, fifties, and sixties. And you come there and you just left the conference there in San Diego, you may be able to go in there and be an expert over the majority of the room. So it, you just need to be aware of who your audience is uh, when you're going to go and claim to be a, an expert uh, and then make sure that you can back it up. And so um, the uh, oh, I was talking about blue jeans. So what I did with blue jeans, 
<laughs> is when I saw that Guy Kawasaki um, announcement come out where he talked about it and said, this is a brand new thing. I'm, we're, we're announcing it for the first time. I immediately got on uh, their website. I submitted, said, I'm an expert in Facebook Live. I've been using it since it started. I have a TV show called Facebook Live TV Show. And I also have another uh, Facebook Live TV show called the Falco Canine News uh, TV Show. And I really need this Blue Jeans. And you need to have me using Blue Jeans to tell everybody about it. And I got an instant email. So there's the power of uh, saying that you're an expert and kind of being able to back it up. The way I was able to back it up is because I had two shows that I was doing using Facebook Live. And so I was able to support that and able to talk the lingo and tell them, uh, you know, how I was using it and about the audiences. I talked about the mastermind retreat and how we teach people how to use social media and Facebook. And the most important thing, I told them I'm speaking at the San Diego social media conference on uh, September 30th and told them that, and I need it now. I can't wait because when I go there, there's going to be hundreds of people in the audience and I need to let them know about this blue jeans. And that was probably the final nail in the coffin that got me the, uh, the information right away. So, uh, Charmaine, uh, Charmaine, uh, have patience. Uh, I promise you they're not ignoring you. And, uh, next time I'm on uh, with you, I will uh, make sure and let them know to look for your name and see if they can't, uh, boot, uh, bump you up a little bit. I know Yael, who is in our mastermind group, she got bumped up because of uh, us putting her on one of the conference calls and she got it pretty quickly. So I'll try to do the same thing uh, for you then. All right. So I think that wraps it up with Blue Jeans. Any more comments before I go on? All right, cool. If there's anything I missed, if there's anything you want to talk about, those of you that are watching, make sure and comment. And my lovely daughter over here off to my left will let me know, even though she doesn't like my banner and my logo and all the blue. It, that's in my banner. So if you agree with her, make sure and let me know. Thank you, Mark, for agreeing. Just, that is fantastic. But if you agree, I know I want to be honest because I want to change it because this is why. This is I'm getting to the point I'm of what I'm telling why I don't like. You're just saying I don't like blue. I'm going to tell you right now. Blue. Okay, I'm, things to it. All right. Do you when you watch a television show, do you hear people in the back? The cameraman does the cameraman just start talking out I'm loud? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's the why. This is the thing you've been waiting for. This is one thing I told you to um, to stick around for. So uh, five years ago, I, I told people uh, this story. I was uh, just got out of a security company disaster. I started a security company. I went from five employees to 500 employees. Uh, we got Comic-Con. We got, uh, um, uh, what's the name of that? Coachella Fest. We got, uh, what's the other one? Coachella Fest oh, and then stage. Stagecoach. These are huge, huge concerts, huge venues, millions, of th well, at least thousands, not millions. I mean, I feel like Donald Trump there, billions. No, uh, thousands of people go to these venues and here we were in charge of security. So I had to go from five employees to 500 employees almost overnight. Not good, especially when you don't have people managing it well and things happen. And so I went uh, bust and lost thousands, a hundred and seventy five thousand dollars is what I lost. And so how do you make up that and pay the employees? Uh, you just have to find a way to do it and you do it and you get through it. Uh, but uh, I took myself to a, a, a conference similar to the San Diego social media conference. Uh, and it was a, a number of experts in, in marketing, social media marketing, how to build your uh, platform, how to build your celebrity. And I uh, found a way to go, a gentleman by the name of Robin Phillips, who was part of that organization. He said, listen, I know that you are hurting for money. Uh, if you want to come to this, I will make sure you have a ticket for free and you can get down there. I could not afford a hotel room. So I drove my truck down there. I uh, went to the first day. There was an opportunity to sign up for a hot seat. A hot seat is the opportunity to get up on stage with four of the experts. You sit in a chair and they tear you apart. <laughs> your web, they take a look at your website. They take a look at what it is you're doing for your message. Uh, how are you using your story? If you even have a story, uh, they talk to you about what are you doing to build a list. And so you go up there and you do this. So I figured, what can I lose? And I wrote down, I go, I am broke. I just blew it with a company. Uh, I don't know what else to do. Uh, this is my last chance to save my other company, which is a dog training business. And I just need help. I, 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 I'm desperate. And uh, so a after that first, so after that first day, I submitted my application. I'm thinking, well, you know, there was hundreds of people there that I wouldn't think they would select my thing. Um, like I said, I couldn't afford a hotel room. So that night I slept in my truck in the parking structure. Uh, and then the next day uh, I went to the bathroom inside the hotel, washed my hair, and I looked uh, like I'd slept in a room. And so what happens? They say, Andy, come up to the hot seat. <laughs> and I go up there for the hot seat. And the first thing, one of the first things they told me is, 
or one of the first things they asked me, who is your perfect customer? And I said, well, anybody who has a dog that's driving them crazy, that uh, is either peeing all over the house or running out the front door or biting people or scratching people because it's jumping, just an unruly dog. That's whoever has that kind of dog. And they said, what's the demographics? Well, you know, and typically it's people that are in their 20s to 40s, somewhere in there. Occasionally we have some people older, but most of the people are kind of in that range and they have at least some money uh, because being in Orange County where I'm at in, in Yorba Linda, Brea, they typically, uh, you know, make a pretty good living somewhere in the 60, $75,000 range uh, and above. And those are my people. And so they said, well, let's take a look at your website. And they go, well, here's the first problem. <laughs> Your website sucks. It does not speak to people in that demographic. And they go, do you have somebody that's your perfect customer? And I think at that time, um, uh, I had one in mind. Her name was Sally Frost. And I said, well, I love this lady. And this is what she, and they, and they go, tell us about Sally. What does she do for a living? You know, is she married? Is she single? What kind of dogs does she like? What does she do for fun? Tell us about Sally. So I explained Sally, uh, which I had gotten to know just a little bit at that time. And they said, does this website look like something that Sally would like? And I go, no, <laughs> she would not look at that website. And I said, what if a lady in her, let's say for instance, in her sixties, who had a dog that was peeing all over the house and she was going through the internet and did a search for dog trainers in Brea, California. And a bunch of websites came up and your site came up because at that time it had police cars on there. It had uh, explosions, it had police chases, it had dogs, biting my arm and taking me to the ground. It had, uh, you know, uh, I think maybe even some loud music on some of the videos, like rock and roll music with explosions going along in the background, graphics going on in the background. And, um, oh, it had some other stuff. And so uh, when a 60 year old woman whose dog is peeing over the house, when she's searching, when she got to that website, do you think she would stop and say, this is the place for me? And I said, uh, no. <laughs> It would not. And so they said, listen, he said, you have to stop making websites and graphics and things that appeal to you. You need to make Facebook pages, graphics, uh, websites that appeal to your perfect customer. And that is the important lesson. I learned. It changed everything. I immediately went back and changed my website. Right. And uh, it's it's hard. It's hard not to do things that appeal to you. I, I like the color blue. Could you tell by the graphic that's on the Facebook page, the, the, fa the Facebook live TV show that I like the color blue? Yes, I love the color blue. Um, and so, but I'm not wearing it right, right now. And so it's a really, really important lesson, right? So the mothers uh, helping mothers, or if you're Mark and his audience, if you are a, a, a chiropractor, if you're a dentist, is it really, you need to first focus, you need first and first, find your customer who you want to sell to. Who is that person? Who is that person that you want to have every day and spend time with them? Is it somebody that you would uh, go to lunch with or have a beer with or uh, you know, spend time in your house sitting on the couch chatting about something? Who is that person, right? Who is that person you want to be around all the time? You don't want to market to the people that you don't want to be around, right? Those, the, the people with the crazy eyes, all of you that are entrepreneurs and, uh, and business owners know the customer with crazy eyes, right? You don't want to, to service them. You want to say no to them. I used to say yes to everybody. You can't believe how many crazy customers I used to have. I can't believe it. I, oh, my, my daughter's been around. She worked in my company for many, many years. And some of the craziest people <laughs> that were not worth the 275 to 500, even $13,000 that I would charge people for certain aspects of our dog training. Uh, the $13,000 ones, I had those that I would have gladly given their money back. Uh, they just were not worth it. They were costing me in, in my efforts, in my energy, up to $25,000, $50,000, and they had only paid me $13,000. So uh, really, really important. So you're, you want to make sure and find out who that person is because that's who you want to market to because you want more of them. Right, Sally uh, makes a great living, um, and I probably shouldn't say her last name because she's an actual real person. <laughs> but she makes a great living. She lives in Huntington Beach, right? She has friends that are movie stars. Um, she uh, and since then, she now has done stuff for me uh, at trade shows and that kind of stuff. But that's who my perfect customer. That's who I want to take money from, and that's who I want to um, to support and give value to. It makes you want to give more value to your customer, right? And that's always the key, right? If they pay you $500, you want to give them a thousand dollars of product in, in the sense that that's what they feel like they got, right? You want to over deliver whatever it is. So that will allow you to do that. If you have a bunch of customers that you don't really like and don't care for, are you going to over deliver for them? No, you're going to give them as much as you possibly can, can, and then hopefully not see them again, right? And that's not a good way to live. It's stressful because they always come back. 
Right? They always come back and say, well, I didn't get what I wanted, and now you need to give me more. And you, oh, God, I got to spend more time with that person. It happens a lot. I am telling you, I know what I'm speaking. Of. I've been in business now for 30 years. All right, so that lesson that I was taught on the hot seat, very, very valuable. And I looked at everything that I had up at that time, whether it was, uh, I think LinkedIn might have been around. I can't remember all the things that were around back then. But when I went and looked at everything, I was like, oh, everything looks like I'm marketing to Andy, all right, and what Andy likes and what, I, you know, I'm of course, somebody that has a dog that's a peeing in their house wants to go to a website where there's explosions and police car chases. That's exactly <laughs> that's exactly the dog trainer that I need to help me with Fluffy, who's pissing on my couch, right? No, that's not the way it is. So make sure and take that lesson. So I appreciate Courtney telling me what she sees when she goes to that Facebook page, because that's it, right? What is it that she sees? I see. That's fantastic. That's awesome. I got a blue shirt that matches the blue in the logo. And then it has a different shade of blue <laughs> that it's sitting upon. And it got this great mic, right? It, it speaks to me, but maybe it doesn't speak to my audience. So I hope I didn't go too far. Did I go too far with that? I explained it well. I liked it. All right, good. Thank you. Thank you. My audience here liked it. Anything else before I, I sign off about the chat? Lisa says, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lisa, for the ha ha that uh, <laughs> my uh, daughter showed me about the comment. All right, so I hope that was helpful to you and I hope it was worth waiting around for. I'm telling you, if you do not know that that's valuable, you should and really listen to it because it made a difference in my uh, life. If you are a consultant or you know, helping other businesses or other entrepreneurs, that kind of stuff, you need to write that down and teach it to them. It, it's something that will change their life. If you look at something, if you have like a, a similar hot seat uh, portion of your uh, what you're selling to other people or doing for other people as a service, uh, is that look at that, look at that, uh, the website that they have or the Facebook page or the landing page or whatever it is that you're using to communicate with their audience and say, let's look at that first and see who is that speak to that person that they want to have as their best customer and then they want the service. And that would be the first thing that I would look at. And it is, it is the first thing I do. And, but uh, I can't, you can't see your own stuff. I'm telling you, you can't see your own writing. Uh, I can write something out and type it all out and look at it 10 times and it looks perfect. The moment the moment that it goes live and gets sent somewhere, I see five errors every time. It happens every time, right? So you don't see your own stuff. You're blinded by your own uh, uh, internal talk. You're blinded by the own, your uh, own opinion on what things should look like and how they appeal to you. Uh, and it may not be speaking to your audience, all right? So be ready for that. All right, uh, Blue Jeans. Uh, San Diego social media conference. Fantastic. I love you guys. It was fan. I, I'll do anything uh, that you ask me to do as long as it's uh, fits into the schedule. I'm not off somewhere and I'll make sure and be there for you. Um, and um, those of you that are watching that I can interview that you think you might have the ability to add some value to our show. I would love to get a private message from you and have you on our show. All right. Anything else before I sign off? Everybody good? Yeah. Yes, there's something else or we're good? No, we're good. <laughs> All right. I think she's just saying that because she's hungry. There's probably 30 comments on no, that. No. Just... She wants to go to Poconometry. If you have not had Poconometry, uh, if you don't know what Pokey is, uh, you know, it's a raw fish and either a salad or a rice, something like that. Not just any po Pokey place. Yeah, don't go to any Pokey place. Some Pokey places, Pokeonometry. Located, located in Anaheim. The Anaheim Ice Ranch. And there's also one. There's one in Anaheim, and there's one in Universal City, or no, Hollywood. 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 Uh, near the uh, uh, Rock. Uh, what's the What's the name Rock of the place? Bell. No, no, no. What's the name of the rock and roll place that has the things? Oh, in Hard Rock. Hard Cafe. Rock Cafe. It's right next to Hard Rock Cafe in that same. You'll same never time. taste any other pokey. Pokenometry. You gotta go. It is the. It, it. I've been to a lot of pokey places. I'm a sushi uh, fanatic. Fanatic. Uh, but pokenometry may be the best. That doesn't mean we're going there today. Hey, and who, who, showed, who showed it to you? <laughs> and my daughter showed it to me. All right. If you have any ideas for the Facebook Live TV show, if you like it the way it is, that's great. If you don't, let me know. That way I'm speaking to you. Yes. When is your BJ training coming? <laughs> Charmaine. Oh, Charmaine. You made us laugh. When is the blue jeans training? The <laughs> Why do you make me laugh at that? I, I, I would have been able to read that and not had a cow. All right. So the blue jeans training is on the um, on the program. What she's talking about. So what Charmaine is talking about on the Facebook Live uh, Elite Training Program, uh, which you can get to if you type in Facebook Live TV show dot com without the the, it'll take you to the program and you can get into the elite training and learn how to do Facebook Live and learn all the stuff uh, that I'm telling you not to do that I'm doing today is all in that program. 
uh, in there, there is a blue jeans train. Let me look, Charmaine, because they had to upload it for me. And I'm going to do this. So let me go ahead and I'm going to share my screen again so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Hold on. Where is? There we go. So share the screen. Bam, bam, bam. All right, I'm going to share my screen here and show you. So this is inside uh, Kajabi. So I use Kajabi for my membership sites. And this will go back to admin. So in Kajabi, if you're not using Kajabi um, for your membership sites, I think that uh, you should. There are other membership building platforms out there, but this is the one that I use. I really love it. They, they, they come up with new stuff all the time. They're adding to it. So you have multiple sites that you can create. So I have Zero to Hero is where uh, my Facebook live training is. You got Police Canine uh, uh, Legal Training, that's for attorneys only, and then I have the Healthy Dog Network. That's the one that has all the different dog training programs I have. So I'm gonna go to Zero to Hero, inside Zero to Hero. Oh, I've not had any sales lately in the last seven days. Come on, people, buy my products. All right, so uh, we're gonna go down here to Facebook Elite Training. This is the advanced training. You also have the basic. When you buy the elite training, you get both of these programs for uh, one price. I give you the other one for free. The basic is simply how to use your phone to do Facebook Live TV shows, and then the Facebook Live uh, TV show elite training is how to use your computer. All right, so I'm going to go into edit, and I'm going to make sure that that video is um, live. Product details, appearance, post. There we go. So we got to go to posts. And blue up. Oh, nope, it's in draft. Sorry about that, Charmaine. When they uploaded it, I assumed that they were going to make it public. So you have to change from draft to publish. So I'm glad you asked that, Charmaine, because I probably would not have checked for a couple more days. So I hit publish. I hit save. It is now in your account uh, for the training of Facebook Live TV show elite program. So it's uh, ready now. Sorry, Charmaine. It did get uh, uploaded in there. It just was not. It was still in draft mode. And it's ready to go. Yes, Courtney. We have a comment from Lisa. It is just a lowercase b. What does that mean? It is just a lowercase b. It's it's literally that. It's a it's a b. It's a little lowercase b. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. <laughs> I thought that would have been code for something. <laughs> Maybe because Charmaine asked when BJ training was. <laughs> So maybe when B training is, uh, is that, Lisa, maybe you could explain. I'll come back to my camera. <laughs> my face is red. No, nothing more. Nothing yet. All right. So Lisa. What does that mean, Lisa? Lisa, what does that mean? We have to find out. We have to know. All right. So I've completely butchered this, uh, this uh, Facebook live TV show based on what I spoke about yesterday. So I apologize. Uh, I promise you, uh, I will go back to my professional um, state uh, in the next shows. Yeah, this one was just kind of we just we were having fun and I've not even had did we didn't even open any beer. Or, this yeah. this whole was part of the plan. This is like, all part. Yeah, this is exactly all part of what you don't do. Right. But See? you still learn something. Right. Because you're still getting good information, but you're also learning what not to do. This is a bunch. Couldn't of have said it better. I don't know if you could hear that. I don't know if the, the mic was close enough, but uh, so you're right. We did this on purpose. So this actually is all in the show flow. Uh, it was uh, mention things that you don't know the answers to um, and try to find random stuff on a fa on a page that you don't know what you're looking for. That, that it's, uh, it says it right there in the show flow. TV show inception. <laughs> inception. All right. I am done. Thank you for allowing me to uh, take a part of your day today. Uh, make sure and subscribe. Uh, on the show that way you'll get notified anytime we go live make sure and maybe not share this episode unless you really feel this valuable to your audience uh to show them how not to do stuff and about uh making sure that your stuff speaks to your audience that's the most important part. if you could just cut that part out that uh, that would be good and valuable all right thank you for putting up with the shenanigans and i will see you at the next show take care you guys thank you for joining lisa ava whoever's a mark uh charmaine and uh, whoever yeah. else uh, who else? Debbie Carlson says thank you. Oh, hey, Debbie. I, I had some of your water this morning. I felt fabulous. I'm going to drink more of that water. I cannot find uh, wait to find out more about your water. Uh, well, I know it's not necessarily your water, but the water that you presented to me yesterday that you're that you're representing, um, I put in the refrigerator. I told nobody else to drink it because it's all mine. I, I need to be saved uh, by the water. All right, and thank you for buying my book. I really appreciate you buying my book and putting it into the chat over there on this uh, San Diego um, uh, social media conference page. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Talk to you later. I'm signing off for sure. For real this time. Talk to you later. Bye. Nanu, nanu. nanu, nanu.